welcome to What's for Dinner. This is the show that we actually cook dinner in about half an hour. I'm Ken Costick. And I'm Mary J. Eustis, and Ken is absolutely right. We make delicious meals using, you know, normal ingredients, things you can find in your cupboard and um, at your store. You look magnificent Do I? today. You look like a fruit medley. There, I said it. Well, if the pump fits, You wear it. look wonderful. And you know what? I'm going to take very good care of you today because I no. know you have a little cold. And I, yes, I, I am. Not, I'm I not am. feeling well. I'm take very good care of my little friend, Kenny. Um, if you want to pick up that pan, I've got a delicious recipe today. We're going to have grilled shrimp and scallops with asparagus and Ooh, orange. Yum, yum. Hold my hand while I read no, the recipe. No. Why? It'll be good. Pick up that pan. You will need half a cup of soy <laughs> sauce, one teaspoon of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of honey, one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of hot chili peppers, two tablespoons of finely chopped garlic chives, half a cup of coriander, two lemons, one teaspoon of white pepper, 12 jumbo shrimps, 12 large scallops, four bamboo skewers, one orange, and 12 asparagus spears. This is a wonderful recipe. Yeah. It is. I'm very excited about it. I do it, it quite often in the summer as well as in the winter. Really do you? On and your indoor grill. grill. And that's, that's what we're right. going to use today. And I'm going right. to um, marinate my fish in some lemon and coriander and honey and chili flakes. And then I'm going to mm -hmm. skewer up a magnificent um, dish. Oh. Jeez. And you know what I'm doing? <laughs> what? I, I found some leftover vegetables in the fridge, and I'm going to use them up. I have some peppers, and I have some green onion, mushroom. I have some uh, bamboo sprouts. And what I'm going to do is do a fried rice. Oh, that's my We have my some favorite. leftover. And I think in the first half, I'm going to saute some plantain. Oh, I love that. That's one of my favorite with things. Some, with some shallots. Fresh That's shallots. so good. Now I'm going to march back and get my fish so we're going to both leave frame at the same time, which <laughs> they love. But you know what I'm going to do for you a bit later? What? I'm going to make you some fresh juice. Oh, For a little vitamin thank C. Thank you. Thank you. What do you say, baby? Oh, look, she called me baby. Does that sound good? Yes. I want a ring on my finger. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be getting it from this cowboy. You know, oh. Dale Evans, and, and who am I, Roy Rogers? Roy Rogers, well, We should yes. do that, do you think? I think that would work well. Would that be good? Yeah. Okay, I've got my skewer soaking, and I'm going to go get um, a nice Okay, gold. do you like this shirt? Truthfully? Yeah. It's making me feel things I've never felt before about you. Uh-oh. Yeah, I like it. I have it on the cover of my book. Is that I'm what wearing you're wearing? It? Yes, Oh, look. so that is your shirt. Yeah. Oh. Believe it or not, oh, dear. I wear this thing. Who knew? Oh, my, yeah. bending over. Don't like that. Oh. Oh. That's a scary thought. Yeah, that's not good. With those hoes. I know they're, you know what they're called? Hose. You, might, you should get a pair, actually. Stretchy. Support. No, no, look <laughs> You're a sick little man. These are ribbed. These ribbed. are ribbed to enhance the leg and make it look a bit slimmer. Do they feel different because they're ribbed? Or? Well, they're reinforced here, oh. and they hold everything in quite nicely. Oh. They've got little the toe things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's quite a look I've got going. Don't you know, you talking think? about hoes, I got yeah. a phone call last night. Oh. Didn't appreciate it. Who's it from? My neighbor, Jill. Yeah. She said, I'm wearing a midnight blue dress what color hose and why were you upset uh, well i was you went to borrow a pair <laughs> <laughs> what was the problem of my sheer black control really? tops oh no. I love she those. was asking what color i thought she should wear and, and I, I just wasn't too sure but i i went with basic black anyway which is what always good because it's safe. slimming yeah it's totally safe are you saying jill should be Slimming down, slimming? I would not say that. She's oh. a very attractive woman. Yes. Very attractive woman. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm squeezing my lemons, and I'm going to have some fresh ginger, which will be a beautiful accompaniment for a marinade, and some mm -hmm. chili flakes. And what, what other action have I got here? What do you venture that is? That, I think, must be... be let's just take a look, because we want to be accurate for our viewers. Some white pepper. Oh. That's what it is, white pepper. Oh, yeah, that's white pepper. Yes. Excellent. So I'll put that in. Now, I'm just doing my plantains. I'm going to... Uh, slice them in half. Now, Kenny, when we, when we went on the cruise, did you have right. any of this stuff in Jamaica? Yes. Wasn't it delicious? It was delicious. Oh, it's some of my favorite. You know, favorite. that's the wonderful thing about traveling. You get to experience all these different culinary delights. You get to experience all sorts of different things that would never happen what when you're at home, when you're that? on a boat. What was that? I don't know. I was just uh, feeling the Caribbean wind through my hair. Your and hair it, actually looks lovely today. Do you like it? I yeah. washed it. Well, that, w that would that be would the reason. That would just about do it. Yeah. 
So getting this action happening, and I'm going to put in my uh, rice wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to chop up my ginger, and I'm not going to peel because my friend Ken Caustic leaves the skin on, and I respect that. That's right. So <laughs> Leave the skin on. I'm leaving it on. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, since uh, you're not doing anything with the burner, yes. I can use this burner. Well, I, I can use any burner I want, right? I was going to say that today. Fresh ginger is crunchy and has a strong flavor. Dried and ground ginger does not. Very nice. Have the same Very nice yeah. tip, sir. Excellent. There you go. So chopping up my ginger, isn't that a beautiful aromatic smell? Come closer, smell this. Doesn't it smell great? It does, very actually. Very fruity, very Caribbean. I have a hard time because I have a little bit of cold. Yes, you, you do, but yeah, I'm going to fix it. you're supposed to be taking care of me. I am. I'm coming you know, over after the show. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, no. Why you're not? not coming to my house. I've got this balm that I'm going to massage into no, your chest, and then no, I'm going to do no, a little no, no. action behind the wig, and you're going to be so <laughs> relaxed. You are going to love... Oh, be careful. Oh, honey, it's going to go over. Behind the wig. Are you okay? A little massage behind yeah, the wig. Yeah, to get rid of your stress and tension. Oh, that's Because you've been very working sweet, hard. sweet, Mary Jo, but it's not necessary that you come over to my house. Okay, let me be the judge of that, will ya? Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted to, you could replace the shrimp with, with? tuna steak cut into chunks. would right. be delicious. That's right. That would be a very nice replacement tip, if I do say so myself. And it would be a lot more economical it if, would, you're, if you're it? sticking to a specific budget. Truthfully, you're right. It's seafood day today. I forgot to mention that. It is totally seafood day. Seafood day. Hence the fruity shirt you're wearing. That's right. More or less. Now, I have a question for you, is Mary Is it Chow. personal? I hope it is. It is actually personal. Oh, my gosh. It is personal. Yeah? You know, when your husband gets sick, is he a baby? Oh, he's a total girly man. Yeah, we all are. Yeah, yeah, puts on What's my clothes. What's wrong with us? I don't know. You know why, truthfully? And I don't want to, you know, get heavy on what's for dinner, but it's Please. because you don't give birth to children. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Like, it's men never are pregnant. Are, what are you saying? I did not give birth to those two beautiful individuals there? <laughs> did you really? I did. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yes. But that's Ruby what I'm saying. Ruby needed a C-section. Did she really? She did. Well, that's how you retain your very slim figure. I do. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. If it ever happens for me. Don't count on it. Oh. I want a C-section. Anyway, we've got our marinade happening. Put in our fresh coriander, and we've got some lovely chives. I'm going to put that in, too. And, uh, Kenny, I'm not yes. peeling my shrimp today. It's a choice I hey, made. You know what? This is a very good tip in reference to the choice that you made, that uh, when you don't peel the shrimp, let's say you use them in a jambalaya or a stew or something like say this. Say that again. I love the way you said jambalaya. that. Jambalaya. Oh, my gosh. Did I, did I do it for you? Yeah. I'm feeling better. I, I don't saw know you about quiver. you. I did. I quivered a bit. Um, it, when you leave them in the shell, it retains the flavor a lot longer. Yeah, because the fat cushions it and makes it nice and moist and plump. Don't yeah. look at me when I say that. Now, I'm walking <laughs> back over here, and what's this? What? Is this your own private collection of fruit? That is a huge fruit. That's a nice fruit. You know fruit. what that is? You don't uh, know what that it's is. It's a pomela. Yes, that's you, correct. Did you bring me those flowers when you came in? No, I, they're oh. not for you. They are not for you. Therefore, Humalina or Thumbelina or oh, whatever her name is. Really? I'm yeah. putting your fruit over here. I've got another lemon because I'm going to add a bit more lemon juice. Right. And um, I'm adding some uh, dried parsley because we want you to use your uh, dried spice rack. That's so, so I'm adding excellent. some dried parsley to the sautéed plantains. Now, before we go to the break, I have, a, I have a little quote I'd like to ask my friend, even though he's no. not feeling too well. No, um, please. Uh, it's an easy one. I think you might really get this one. And when I saw it, I thought of you. Why are you doing this? You have to go to the bathroom? I know my hose. Oh. Um, salmon are uh -huh. like men. Yeah. Too soft, <clears throat> a life is not good for them. Who said that? Gee. I think you know this. And I it's think... not Ethel Merman, but I think you know this. I think I know. Come here, come here, come here. Let's... No, just before I go to the break, togetherness is good to get you better. See you in a minute on what's for dinner. See you in a minute. Thank you. Yes. Welcome back to What's for Dinner. I've just done uh, marinated my scallops and my shrimp, and I'm going to skewer them with some asparagus, orange, and lemon, so it's going to be really delicious. But before I do that, I'd like to repeat the trivia question from my very colorful friend, Ken Caustic. Right. Ken, focus. Sweetie. Focus. Okay. Who said, and you're going to know this, salmon are like men. Too soft a life is not good for them. I know who it is. Oh, my gosh, he does. I do. Jacques oh. Cousteau. You know what? You are so close. It was James de Coquet in Le Figaro in oh, 1975. Oh, come on. You pronounce it as Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> no, honey, it's not the fish guy. He's an oh. opera singer. Okay. But that was very close. Very close. It. Jacques Cousteau, I want to kiss you. That's so sweet. Can I tell you what I'm doing? 
Okay. I'm, I'm working on my stir-fried rice and with all the vegetables that are left over. What's going on? It's that woman. Uh -oh. It is that woman. Uh, the flowers. She's yeah. coming for her oh, flowers. Oh, what are those for her? Yes. Oh, dear. Hello, hello. 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 How's the, it going? Oprah. Here you go. There you for go. Oprah? Yeah, for you. <laughs> for Oprah? Yeah. yeah, Ken, yeah give her whatever. a kiss. No. Give her a kiss. I, I hear you're not feeling well. You don't no. have to kiss me that Okay. okay. But okay. I want She's to tell worried. you, this She's is worried. very... She just want to catch it. Did you make this yourself, darling? Yeah, I did. Lovely. Darling, I, I, I'm, I'm concerned about you. I have one little thing to tell you. What? In my country, we have a saying. Yes? Oh, dear. Oh, God. If you soar with the eagles, yeah. you don't need to walk with the cabbage. If you soar with the eagles, you don't need, need to, to walk, walk with, with the, the cabbage. cabbage. Uh, again, a metaphor for life because we're simple. That's lost, totally honest. Do I you get know. it? No, I don't. I'm having a clue. I'm having a clue. But you know what I'm going to do, and I hope you support me in this endeavor. What? When I skewer, I'm starting to skewer. What is she doing? I, like, I don't know. I got to ask you something. Yeah, man. What, what is she doing in here? I don't know. I think she's living upstairs, quite frankly. No, she's cleaning the house, but not doing a very good job. Her and of that it. wacky neighbor. Now you know what I'm going to do, Mr. Caustic, and I'm talking to you, yeah. sir. I'm so glad you didn't call me Miss Costa. I wouldn't. Not today because you're feeling... F Fragile. <laughs> I, thought I, heard Fragile. Little, I thought I heard a little noise there. What I'm going to do, and I hope you... Didn't come from this okay, body. Okay, it wasn't mine either. I'm going to take the orange right. like this. Okay, this is how I'm going to do it, uh -huh. Ken. Yes, then I'm, gonna I'm take, listening. Then I'm taking a scallop and I'm going to cover the scallop in the orange. Honey, look. L Mary Jo Eustace. Look I, at that. I know. Can I say something to you? If this is a half hour show. Oh yeah, okay, so get on. And it. I did make a big point at the beginning saying we cooked dinner in half an hour. Ken. So Whoa, I, I would start take moving. Take a chill, take it down a notch there, buddy. <laughs> These are gonna take like six minutes on the grill. Like I'm not gonna get my panties in a knot over it. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to be talking about your panties. <laughs> don't nor yours. No. Okay, I'm skewering my shrimp, and we're using, uh, I'm leaving the shell on, so we'll have really moist, juicy, plump shrimp. Right, and I'm going to do that action. I'm going to do a lemon slice now. Right. And, Ken. Yes. Please support me. I support your hose. Okay, thank you so much. Shrimp cooked in the shell is easier to peel. If before cooking it, you snip the shell back snip along, <laughs> removing the vein as you cut. Oh, yeah. Sniff and snip. That's not, actually, not the, sniff. That's actually snip. the tip of the day. An excellent tip, tip sir. Tip. <laughs> tip. <laughs> Is there something wrong with my hearing? <laughs> something, Along with the wig? I don't know. You're not having a good day. But no. you're such a pro, nobody could tell that you were sick. Oh, I'm bending over. Oh, I'm not turning around for that. Now, I'm going to encase my scallop in the orange again. I've got some beautiful scallops okay. today. I've removed the plantain from the stove. We don't have to keep cooking them. They're done. They're done. And we just have to heat them up at the last minute. Excellent. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Okay. okay In goes some me. olive oil. I'm going to go find the rice that's in the um, fridge. Hey, baby. Yes. Are you going to put some eggs in your fried rice? You know what? I think it, we should. I think we should make an egg day. Ken, look. Please, what? please comment on my skewer. Don't make me beg you to give me a compliment. Oh, your fish looks wonderful. Thank you, and it's going wonderful. on the grill. Oh, they smell so aromatic. Absolutely. Wonderful. Perfect. Now, we could do one of two things here today. We could stir fry the vegetables first, but you know what? I really want the flavor of the um, vegetables. So, so I, I think I'm going to do it after I do the rice oh. and add the sauce. I'm going oh, to do that, it completely opposite. Right, that's totally Turn breaking with down. tradition. Oh, my gosh. There we go. The man is at the top of his game. In goes the egg. Nothing's better in fried rice than scrambled up egg. I don't even bother scrambling them in a bowl because I don't want to dirty another bowl. No, you don't. Why no. would you? No. Well, you wouldn't. That's the thing. No. Okay, so. I'm actually going to cover a shrimp in an orange slice. Yes. So you can get totally creative with your skewers. That's what I like, quite frankly. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to go behind my lovely friend and put my other skewer on the grill. Yes. And our dinner's going to come together so beautifully at the exact <coughs> same time. We're going to have a mutual finish with all our dishes. Did you explain to the viewers why we're soaking the skewers? Because that's a really good tip. I know we've given it before, but... Do you want me to give it again? I think so. We, we, we soak the skewers because if you're barbecuing, if you put them in water first, the skewers, if you're using wooden, won't burn. So that's such a right-on tip. Yes. Righteous tip. Absolutely. I agree. Hey, Kenny. Yes? You know what you and I should do? <laughs> it, dep <laughs> it depends. Do you want to go to a Grateful Dead concert with me? No. Oh. That is a given. It was just a suggestion. No, My no. goodness. I could really see you at one of those. Me getting down? I don't think I so. I could think you could get down. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. 
In that shirt, you could get down. We okay. could go to something else, though. We could go see a, a, a Broadway musical, some show tunes. Would that I'm be good? I'm very much into show tunes. Do you love Liza Minnelli? Oh, oh of course Barbara Streisand, my favorite. Really? I had a dream about her last night. Oh, get out. We were in a hot tub, I swear to God, and all the water leaked out. What does that mean? You know what? I don't want to <laughs> go there with that story. Okay. That you know, sounds too bizarre. It's too weird. I've got to yeah. cut back on the medication. Now, if you're buying scallops, make sure they have a very sweet smell and they're moist. If they smell at all fishy, chances are you got yourself a bad scallop. Uh oh And you don't want that one bit. You know what I did? Mm -hmm. I added some, about a teaspoon of soy sauce, and I went to the fridge and I found this ho hoisin, hoisin sauce, sauce, which is actually a Chinese sauce used in Peking duck and mushu pork. Oh. And it says it's great with vegetables and rice so, and noodles. So you put two and two together and you I'm came up with five, I'm going to add a little sir. bit more. I'd say about a tablespoon of this sauce. Now, I'm going to add in all my vegetables. I'm going to do the viewer mail because I skewered <gasps> as I knew I would appropriately and in I'm time. I'm supposed to do the viewer mail. Dear Mary Jo and Ken, and my name's first. I've seen your program only a few times now, and I think your program is great because it catches my attention more than any other cooking program. I think that's because together, Ken, together, yes. you make a strong couple. With an Ooh. unusual sense of humor, and also your recipes are down to earth and relatively easy to make. Oh. Thanks, and keep up the great cooking. That's so sweet. What a nice, Dana nice I won. Wow, she thinks we're a couple. You know, we Love get that. a lot of viewer mail, don't we? We totally do. They ask us questions about everything. Very, yeah. Lots about this. About the wig. Yeah. Well, and about the surgery, because you know what? You look 10 years younger. Do I really? You totally do, <laughs> especially through here. I do. Absolutely Slimmer. amazing. Now, when we get back from the break, we're going to throw this delicious dinner together. And I'm very excited about this fried rice. There, I said it. Yes. Here on What's for Dinner. Hello, and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I've just added in all of my vegetables into the fried rice. We're going to mix it up gently. And we're not going to cook it too long because we want the vegetables to be really nice and tender, not too soggy. Hey, Kenny. So we're done. Yes. You want to score? Uh, do you want it? It depends. I'm going to do it for the fruit, so we'll have some nice scores for the fruit. Okay. Does that sound good? Explain to the viewers what score means. Well, it's sort of like zesting, but you, you score the fruit and you get a little round curly cue. So I thought that would be a nice accompaniment to our dish. I just have to figure out how to work it. Oh, here we go. Oh, my gosh. I, I figured it out. I can't believe it. Okay, now we just want to... Ken, look. Isn't that look. cool? Oh, like that? very good. Okay, very there's good. one. Now, if we come over here, we can take a look at my grill. And I've got the shrimps and the scallops and the asparagus and the orange and the lemon. Yes. And they're totally happening. And they're cooked to perfection. And what Kenny and I, we've made a bit of a group decision. We're going to serve dinner on one plate, aren't yes, we? Yes, we're going to make it look very, very festive. We're going to set up this beautiful platter that we have. We're going to uh, uh, circle it with the plantain. How's that, Mary Jo? I love That's that. That's a great idea. We're festive, aren't we? And Yes, because <laughs> this is an oriental meal today. And, uh, oh, well, it has uh, several combinations. It does. A bit of the Caribbean, because I have this shirt on. You do? <laughs> And Aww. we're cooking plantains. Look at that. It's a very nice combination of right. uh, food. Now, I've sliced up some lemon, and we've got some coriander. Right. So I'm going to go to the grill and get my skewers. And, Kenny, if you want to garnish a bit, hun, with the uh, lemons and I limes. I think so, yes. And whatnot, eh? Eh? Oh, gee. These look incredible. This is going to be a good dinner tonight, now, sir. Now, what were you going to do with the orange rind? Can I was I just going to um, put it on it up? ad hoc. Ad hoc. And what about the mandarin orange? Can I add some orange? Of course you can. Okay. Of course you can. This <gasps> will make a wonderful, plant, beautiful dish. Can I do this? This type yes. of action? Let's do that. Oh, my Mary gosh. Jo. I've got so many ideas going through my head right now. Uh -oh. I can't even explain Stand back. it. Just stand back. Stand back. It's that shirt. My shirt? Yes. You look okay. amazing. There you we go. You know what we're going to do as well? What? We're going to the table. Oh, let's go to the table. Come on. I'm taking the plate. Take the plate. Let's Whoa, go. Whoa, look at this, Mary Jo. You know what? Very romantic dinner. Fish day on what's for dinner? I don't think there's enough here for us. I don't think so. That, well, that's mine, isn't it? Look <laughs> at that. Oh, my gosh. Sit down, my and friend. And we did it all in one. Put it on one platter. Oh. Those are for you, for behind your ear. Thank you. To match your shirt. Does I this can. mean we're an item? I think so. Uh-oh. You know what? Hold tight, hold fast. It's going to work. 
Should we recap a bit what we did yes. here? Yes. What did we do? Plantain. I did the plantain. I also did the fried rice you did. with leftover vegetables and leftover fried rice. And I did the skewer with shrimp and scallops. And, and look how beautiful and elegant that looks tonight. I'm going to take care of you tonight because Thank you're you sick. for the weeds. You're welcome, baby. See you next time on What's for Dinner. Take Keep care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.